Oh man, we back again, man. Hold on. We got. I'm on my little, my little studio. We got Earl Spence. The band of Pacquiao might be going down. Earl Spence, man. You did your thing. I don't give a fuck what that. What none of them niggas talking about, bro. Oh, he was at seventy percent. I don't. He won, man. I don't give a fuck. If he just got a car accident, then he fucking whipped this dude ass, motherfucker. That dude, other dude was at a hundred percent. You did this. This the thing. This dude will fuck me up about your boxing ass niggas, man. Nigga, don't discredit motherfucking oh Mikey Garcia. I mean Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia came in that fighting shape and in everything, bro. In complete shape and and work hard for that fight, man. He did. So don't say, oh, Earl Spence wasn't... That mean Mikey Garcia really is a nothing-ass fucking fighter. If y'all say Earl Spence didn't look that good and he beat Mikey Garcia, what the fuck y'all say about Mikey Garcia? And Mikey Garcia is a declarated champion. You know what I'm saying? Probably in a lower weight class, 140. But I'm just saying, he's a decorated champion. He's not, he not no rookie to this shit, man. Give them niggas credit. That motherfucker did his thing in there. So we'll get that out of the way. Out the way. Congratulations to motherfucker Earl Spence, man. Derek James, man, I need to interview you again. Uh, when you come back to Vegas, man, hit me up. All fighters come to Vegas. Y'all got to get in tune with this. Ross Media, real over sucker shit. This, that real shit. Don't be out here with these. You, you can do whatever the fuck you want. But come fuck with the real. You dig what I'm saying? Y'all y'all go with fuck whoever y'all want to fuck with. But come fuck with the motherfucking real. And that's Ross Media, straight up. Now, let's get up on this Floyd Mayweather. You dig what I'm saying? Um, oh yeah, no. Manny Pacquiao called him out. We can get Floyd later. Manny Pacquiao basically calling calling him out because he think he's seen something in him. Like you got no beat him with speed. So he he know that Danny Garcia got power because Danny Garcia could thump, but he know Danny Garcia ain't got that motherfucking speed that he got. So he figured that he got the power with Manny Pacquiao, got the power of Danny Garcia, but got the speed. He think that is going to offset um, uh, Earl Spence. You dig what I'm saying? Maybe think he's going to offset his offense and his defense. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the man see up in it. You know what I'm saying? For me, for me personally, the jumping in and jumping out shit, I think Earl go flatten Pacquiao ass just like how uh, Marquez flattened Pacquiao ass. They're jumping in and trying to Earl go light his ass up and both of them left-handed too. And it's going to be easy for Earl, just like I call it for Floyd back in the day when I said Floyd ain't going to do nothing but use his reach. Keep him at the end of the jab. Bye-bye. That's all you got to do. That's it. That's all. That's all you got to do. Keep motherfucker at the end of that motherfucking jab, man. That's it, that's all. Straight up. Turn them. Pop, boom. Turn them. Cover up. Pop, pop, boom. Cover up. Yeah, you ain't got to do shit, really, to, to beat no short motherfucker. So keep him at the end of that jab. Keep that motherfucking stick going at that forehead, Jack. Straight up. But yeah, but that's that's good news. Who do I think will win? I think Earl will win. For the simple fact that Earl just fought this fight, Earl said he been in shape before he even before he even even um went into training camp. He was already in shape, so that's good. Then he said he only take like a week off, two weeks off, and he getting back into training. That mean the weight still gonna be down if you watch it how he eating and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be some devastating ass shit. I'm telling you, I believe he go he go. I I me mean, probably. I think he'll knock Pacquiao ass out. Cause this this is the thing that Pac Pacquiao just know how to come in and bounce back and bounce back. But what happened when he started getting hit with that shit? When he bouncing in, it's like doom. I don't really wanna bounce in like that no more. I really don't wanna. You see what I'm saying? Then now he back. You know what I mean? If Earl can hit him with some shit to keep to keep his ass back, boy, it's gonna be it's gonna be some shit. Cause you see, Danny ain't throw. Mm-mm. That ain't dope. Yeah, but that's what's up, man. It's Ross Media, real love of sucker shit, man. A report 
on that motherfucking Pacquiao, yeah, damn it, and uh, Earl Spence, man, it should be it's, it's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be a fight because Pacquiao is gonna test that boy ass. He is most definitely gonna test your ass. I call Pacquiao the tattoo artist. I think he gonna be tatting. He be ta da da. He gonna be tatting. He gonna be giving a little, leaving a little tats. But see, he couldn't do that shit with Floyd. And then Earl, no Floyd. Floyd go. Me personally, I think they gonna make eight. Hey, he gonna make that car car Earl. Hey Earl. Hey yo, check this out. Hey, keep him at the end of that jab. Turn him, cuff him. That's all he had to do. That's all Floyd did was keep him at the end of the jab. Turn him, lock up with him. Keep him at the end of that jab. Turn him, lock up with him. That's all it is, man. You know what I'm talking about? Till the next one, Ross Media.